everybody and welcome to this video where I am fresh off of a trip to Harrah's and if we um, use the marketing term they are doing um, Harrah's that is located in Funner, California um, Mayor Jane Lynch if you guys have seen those ads. Um, basically, I went there to kind of unwind and just relax. My knee's been killing me. Um, I wanted to sit in a pool. Um, I didn't do any gambling, but um, the casino looked all right. I got into a argument slash scuffle-ish with um, a very old man about something stupid so maybe i'll save that story for the live stream it was so needed it was so nice um i felt really guilty about forgetting my laptop um i was gonna do a bunch of shit for um the poetic anarchy course i was going to like make videos while i was there and do all this shit i packed my computer up put it in a bag had um bags of food that i took with me because i didn't want to have to fucking spend and twenty dollars on a sandwich in the fucking casino. I had all this shit. I had um, a bunch of booze I took because I wasn't gonna fucking pay thirty dollars for a fucking drink. And so I had all this shit. Loaded the car up, took trips, and then forgot my computer bag. So um, that was kind of annoying, but it was good because, like. It was kind of like the first time that I wasn't like connected to the hip with my computer. And so I was able to just fucking chill out and fucking like really like recharge my brain, you know. And while I was there, yeah, I was having all these ideas of cool things I could fucking do for my writing, for releases, for my channel, for music. But I wasn't, like, under the pressure of, like, being under the gun. Like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I just got to fucking chill. So, um, about, you, you, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of burnt. Um, I am red, but for some reason this is just making me look kind of nice. But, um... I'm like burnt. So basically what I did the whole time was I would go to the pool and there's a bar at the pool and I sit under the misters, um, drink my drink, which was either like, let's see, what did I have? They, they have these big tumbler cups. And if you, if you buy that once, okay, if you buy it once, it's, some ridiculous amount like 25 bucks or something but then every other drink you get is only 16 dollars isn't that a good deal 16 bucks for a big ass drink like a pint sized drink it's not but they don't let you take anything to the pool so if you want to go to the pool you're kind of stuck doing this so I go to the pool I, I get my fucking tumbler and um, I'm drinking Bloody Mary's and uh, for the most part, they were pretty good Bloody Marys. Um, I have had worse, um, and I've definitely had better. But um, they were pretty good. Then um, after a while of Bloody Marys, I was having, um, I had a margarita. And then they were really pushing the strawberry margarita on me. They're like, oh, it's really good. It's like a slushy machine. Like, it's really good. You should try it. Blah, 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 blah. Then they started, like, like giving me discounts on shit. And so I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. So they gave me that. Um, then I had a fucking pina colada, which is totally not me. Like, I'm not a fan of coconut. And rum is probably, like, my least favorite alcohol, like, down the list. But it was strong as shit, and it was really good. And then they had this thing called a lava flow, which is half strawberry margarita, half pina colada... And it looks really fucking cool in the cup. And so, like, you're paying for, like, a cool look. But at the same time, you're getting fucking wrecked because it's, like, a bunch of tequila and rum. 
Um, so yeah, so as far as the booze part went, um, it was great. And I like just chilled in a pool and just relaxed my leg. Um, I took a few books with me and it was really fucking chill and it was hot as balls, but the water was nice. Um, I just, I needed it so bad. It was so good to just fucking do that. And now it's like, all I want to do is like live in like a weird little tiki village and just sit by the pool and, um, get drunk and write. So, um, it seems like my life is that now and I know they're going to send me comps because the whole reason why we went is because my friends got comps and um so and actually I did get um a $20 comp for um like a a dinner comp like when you get there like if you sign up as a rewards member like you get your little fucking gold card or whatever and then I went and spun this wheel and it's like $20 Dime Club card or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So, like, I got a free sandwich out of it, which is actually a really good sandwich. It was a um, a weird, like, steak melt that was, like, tri-tip with, um, I think it was fried onions and um, a balsamic glaze on um, Parmesan-crusted sourdough, which they could basically say, um, yeah, we have the sandwich of, like, shit and eyeballs, but it's on Parmesan-crusted sourdough, and I'd go, ooh, that sounds delicious. I think I'll have one. So after this, me talking right now, I'm going to have the clips from the thing, and basically it was, like, my last day there, and um, I realized I hadn't filmed anything, and I said I was going to film something, So, um, I was a few giant drinks in, um, you could probably tell, but, um, yeah, so here, oh wait, there is more. When I wasn't in the pool, um, drinking, I was in the shower drinking. So, um, there was a lot of water going on on this trip. I would go to the pool, get drunk go back to the room, make more cigarettes, take a shower, take a drink and a cigarette in the shower. I'm living large, guys. I'm living large. And then I would finish that, dry off, either eat something or go back to the pool. Um, And that's what I did for about 72 hours. And it was kind of fantastic. So I highly recommend it. So anyway, enjoy the rest of this fucking train wreck, and I'll see you guys later. All right, so this is the weird taco truck inside the hotel um, if you want to order tacos. And this is all the restaurant out here and there. Well, here's the thing. I got to the bar early in the morning all excited to get tore up. And the bar wasn't open for like another 45 minutes. So this was um, quite painful to me. Um, The pool was open and there were people at the other pool, but not on this side. And this is when things started to open. The misters came on. It was amazing. Um, I could I could live right here in this little pool at this bar. Just. Just. living the life and these like lounge shirts oh that spa is really cool that little waterfall is awesome um and these are the little stone seats um and that's me in my little tiny swimsuit thing that's not really a swimsuit okay here are some of the favorite my favorite things of this room this tile i don't know if this is technically called like i don't know like vertical subway tile but it's fucking gorgeous i absolutely love this tile the color is great this is fucking gaudy and nasty as fuck i don't like it but the tile is gorgeous the light fixtures in this whole place is fucking disgusting 
but the tile here, gorgeous. Now you come over here, this wallpaper, gorgeous. I like texture and this feels, like I can feel this. And I've just been rubbing my hands on the wallpaper and I'm not even on acid or anything. I just like touching this wallpaper. It feels good. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Okay, shower with the giant shower head that's kind of like, like a rain shower, but it hurts, okay? So we have this shower here, and look at this. Shampoo, wait, no, shampoo, body wash, conditioner. Awesome. And a tub. Oh my gosh, and look how fast the water comes out of the tub. Dude, you can have a bath in no time. So, bathroom, thumbs up. I like this. Um, just so you know, I roll my own cigarettes now with this roller and the tubes and the tobacco. And it costs about 40 bucks a month as opposed to like 300. So any smokers out there, this is an actual pretty good deal. This tobacco is really good compared to other shitty tobaccos. Premier tube 100s little machine here. Good stuff. This chair looks amazing, feels amazing when you first sit on it, but then after that it hurts and you want to like commit suicide. But other than that, this chair, the orange, the suede, it feels amazing. Body pillow I've been using as a footrest. Really cool shit. And again, Nasty ass lamp. These lamps are fucking so disgusting. I don't know why they're here. They fucked up. This weird thing that's kind of like an end table, but more like just stacked shit with like a piece of glass on it. I don't understand. Nice little San Diego magazine. In case you wanted to visit the best places of San Diego. And, um, yeah, so this is kind of amazing. And there's a television if people like to watch things. But honestly, the room is gorgeous other than these horrible fucking lights. Ugh. And here is the view of nothing. There's some mountain-ish things, some palm tree things and a bunch of rooftop. I think the casino is down there. I think that's all the casino. But it's kind of stupid and it's ugly to look out. So I just, oh wait, no, there's a fountain. Let's look at the fountain. Okay, other than that, it's ugly. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.